into some exciting transfer news involving Orlando Pirates and their pursuit of Talente Umbata. Talente Umbata, who joined Orlando Pirates on loan from Supersport United in January, has been a standout player for the Buccaneers. His impressive performances have convinced the Pirates coaching staff to push for a permanent deal. Pirates are in advanced talks with Supersport United to secure Mbata's services on a long-term basis. Mbata's impact on the team has been significant, making key contributions in both the league and the Nedbank Cup. His versatility and positive attitude have made him a favourite among the coaches and fans alike. The 24-year-old midfielder's ability to control the game and his eagerness to learn have set him apart, making him a valuable asset for the Pirates. This move, if finalised, will be a strategic addition for Orlando Pirates as they look to strengthen their squad ahead of the next season. The club's proactive approach in securing Mbata's permanent move shows their commitment to building a strong team capable of competing at the highest level. Into the recent developments at Sekukan United, regarding head coach Le Clohanolo CMR, the club has placed CMR on special leave, and interim coach McDonald Makubedu has been tight-lipped about the reasons behind this decision. CMR, who joined Sekukan United in November 2023, had a decent run, taking the team from 10th to 4th place. However, his absence during their recent 1-0 loss to Amazulu FC has raised questions. Makubedu, stepping in as caretaker, emphasized the need for support among coaching colleagues but deferred all questions about CMR's situation to the club's administration. Makubedu's cautious approach in addressing CMR's absence highlights the sensitivity of the situation. It's a reminder of the uncertainties coaches face in their careers. Despite the challenges, Makubedu remains focused on improving the team's performance. In conclusion, the situation at Sekukan United is a clear example of the unpredictable nature of football management. We'll have to wait for official statements from the club to understand the full story behind CMR's special leave. Transfer news from the DSTV Premiership. Stellenbosch FC's coach Steve Barker has hinted at a significant transfer fee for their star midfielder Jaden Adams. With Mamelodi Sundowns showing keen interest, Barker emphasized that acquiring Adams won't come cheap. Adams has had a stellar season, boasting three goals and eight assists in 34 games. His performance at AFC ON further increased his value. Barker compared the situation to Sundown's own high-value bench players, suggesting Adams could command an even higher fee. Interestingly, Barker mentioned Adams' European ambitions, advising him to prioritize overseas opportunities over local moves to ensure ample playing time and career growth. This highlights a common dilemma for top South African talents, the allure of local giants versus the promise of European leagues. Stellenbosch's recent successes, including qualifying for the CAF interclub competition, have elevated their players' market value. Barker's firm stance on high transfer fees indicates the club's intent to retain its core squad, while ensuring any departures are highly profitable. The latest on Oswana Polis from Poliquine City, who's been catching the eyes of both Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates. Apolis has had an impressive season, with six goals and five assists in 26 appearances, making him a hot commodity in the DSTV Premiership. Coach Puti Mahafe has made it clear that Polokwana City isn't just looking to cash in locally. They are prioritizing offers from abroad, emphasizing that Apollos' growth and potential could be better nurtured in an international setting. This reflects the club's ambition to place their talent on a bigger stage, aligning with Apollos' own aspirations. This stance from Polokwane City is quite strategic. By aiming for international offers, they not only elevate Apollos' career prospects, but also increase the club's visibility and reputation on a global scale. It's a move that underscores the importance of thinking beyond immediate gains, and focusing on long-term benefits for both the player and the club. In conclusion, Polokwana City's approach towards a policy's transfer is a testament to their forward-thinking mindset. It's going to be interesting to see how this unfolds, and where a policy will land next. Latest transfer buzz surrounding Richards Bay FC goalkeeper Salim Magula. Richards Bay's head coach Fasumuzi Vilakazi has commented on Magula's future amidst strong links to Kaiser Chiefs. Vilakazi expressed his desire to retain Magula for the next season highlighting the keeper's exceptional performances which earned him a nomination for the goalkeeper of the season award. However, Vilakazi acknowledged that the final decision rests with Magula, the club's chairman and his agent. Magula has been a standout player, and Kaiser Chiefs are reportedly interested due to their current goalkeeping uncertainties. With Ichimalenkane's contract nearing its end, 
and existing keepers like Brandon Peterson and Bruce Bavuma not fully convincing this season, Magula could be a key acquisition for Armaco C. Villacazi's comments underline the reality of football transfers, where a coach's wishes may not always align with business decisions. If Magula moves to Chiefs, it would be a significant step up, potentially elevating his career further while filling a critical need for Chiefs. In conclusion, this situation encapsulates the dynamic nature of football transfers, where player performance, club needs and strategic decisions intersect. Keep an eye on this developing story as the transfer window approaches. News from Mamelodi Sundowns, who are set to offload midfielder Leboang Mabaway. Despite past interest from Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates, Mabaway will likely move on loan rather than a permanent transfer. Mabaway has faced significant injury challenges since joining Sundowns, limiting his playing time. The club wants him to gain more game time and return stronger. Sundowns believe in his potential which is why they're opting for a loan rather than selling him outright. This decision highlights Sundown's strategic approach to managing their squad depth while ensuring their players develop through regular play. For Mabaway, this could be a crucial opportunity to regain form and showcase his skills, potentially attracting future interest from top clubs. In conclusion, Mabaway's loan move could be a win-win for both player and club, providing needed match experience and maintaining his value for Sundowns. We'll be watching closely. Drama in the PSL, focusing on the feud between Mamelodi Sundowns coach Rulani Mokwina and TS Galaxy coach Sayad Ramovic. This ongoing saga recently took a new twist, which will head to court. Here's the background. Rulani Mokwina accused Sayad Ramovic of instructing his players to target Sundowns midfielder Bongani Zungu during their match. Mokwina suggested that Ramovic told his players not to forget Zungu's previous tackle on Bernard Parker which had resulted in a serious injury. TS Galaxy didn't take these accusations lightly. They demanded Mokwina prove his claims within 24 hours or face legal action. Galaxy's management issued a strong statement, labeling Mokwina's remarks as blatant lies and an embarrassment to the sport. Mokwina, however, seems unfazed by the legal threat, maintaining his stance on the incident. He has expressed disappointment over the challenge on Zungu, reiterating his belief that it was premeditated. TS Galaxy's captain Pogiso Sanoka weighed in on the feud, suggesting that it's beyond the player's control and emphasizing the need for both coaches to resolve their differences professionally. Buzz surrounding Orlando Pirates and their interest in Ismail Torre from Stellenbosch FC. Orlando Pirates are reportedly monitoring Ismail Torre, a standout player for Stellenbosch FC. Torre, a 25-year-old Ivorian defender, has impressed with his performances, catching the eye of the Buccaneers. His robust defending and ability to read the game have made him a prime target for Pirates, who are looking to bolster their squad for the upcoming season. Currently, Torre has a year left on his contract with Stellenbosch FC, they are keen to retain him unless a significant offer comes through. Stellenbosch is reportedly open to negotiations, but will demand a considerable transfer fee reflecting Torre's value and potential. This move is seen as a strategic one for Orlando Pirates as they aim to strengthen their defense. Torre's potential addition could provide much needed depth and solidity at the back, which has been a concern for Pirates in recent campaigns. If the deal goes through, it would also represent a significant step in Torre's career, giving him a platform to showcase his talents in one of South Africa's top teams. However, this transfer is still in the early stages, with no formal agreement yet. Pirates will need to act swiftly and decisively if they want to secure Torre's services before other clubs potentially swoop in. Sundowns have decided to retain Mankoba Minky T with a new three-year deal. Let's dive into the details and what this means for both Minky T and Sundowns. Minky T has been a pivotal figure at Sundowns working alongside Rulani Mokwina to steer the team to numerous successes. This new deal, which will keep him at the club until 2027, underscores the club's commitment to maintaining stability and continuity in their coaching setup. Sundowns clearly value Mingchiti's contributions and believe that he has a bright future with the club. Interestingly, this move comes amid speculation that Minky T might be targeted by other top clubs including Kaiser Chiefs. With Chiefs' ongoing search for a stable coaching figure following recent managerial changes, retaining Minky T effectively removes him from their list of potential candidates. This also highlights Sundown's proactive approach in securing their key personnel to fend off interest from rivals. From a strategic standpoint, Sundown's decision to offer Minky T a lucrative long-term deal ensures that the club continues to build on its current success. Minky T has been instrumental in their tactical and operational aspects, 
making this a sound investment in the club's future. For Minky T, this deal offers job security and a platform to further his coaching career within a familiar and successful environment. Latest developments around Kaiser Chiefs search for a new head coach. According to recent reports, Pizzo Massimone, Alexandra Santos and Sayad Ramovic are among the finalists for the coveted position at Naturena. Starting with Pizzo Massimone, he's a well-known figure in South African football, having achieved significant success with Mamelodi Sundowns and recently working in the UAE. His experience and track record make him a strong candidate, but his availability could be a challenge given his current commitments. Next up is Alexandra Santos, currently the head coach of Petro Luanda. His name has been circulating as a potential fit for Chiefs due to his tactical acumen and success in the Angolan league. His international experience could bring a fresh perspective to the team, aiming to restore their former glory. Finally, Sayad Ramovic, the coach of TS Galaxy, is another top contender. Ramovic has shown his coaching prowess by leading his team to the Carling Black Label knockout final this season. His recent comments about Chiefs deserving to be in the top three have fueled speculation that he's interested in the role. Kaiser Chiefs are at a crucial juncture, looking to rebuild and re-establish themselves as a powerhouse in South African football. The appointment of any of these coaches could significantly impact their future. Fans are eagerly waiting to see who will take the helm and lead the Amakosi back to success. Discussing a potential player swap between Orlando Pirates and Chipper United that's generating a lot of buzz. Orlando Pirates are reportedly in talks with Chipper United for a swap deal involving Monopole Seleng and Tanzanian midfielder Baraka Majigoro. This move could significantly impact both clubs as they look to strengthen their squads for the upcoming season. Seleng, who has been seeking more regular playing time, might benefit from this move, while Major Goro's potential inclusion could bolster the Pirates' midfield. This deal seems promising, but it's still in the early stages and anything can happen.